the mascot of Linux. Hello, I am Gnu. Together we, we make Gnu Linux, Linux, the best known free operating system. <laughs> we are going to present you free software as digital commons. Free software was introduced in the late 1980s by Richard Stallman. The goal of Stallman was to design a protocol that would guarantee that software would always remain free. Very soon it became a global movement. A movement that is made up by hundreds of thousands of programmers and by millions of users worldwide. Now Richard himself will explain you the freedoms of free software. Free software means software that respects the user's freedom. There are four essential freedoms that the user of software should always have. Freedom zero is the freedom to run the program however you wish. Freedom one is the freedom to study the source code of the program and change it to make the program do what you wish. Freedom two is the freedom to distribute copies of the program to others when you wish. Now this includes republication of the program. And freedom three is the freedom to distribute copies of your modified versions to others when you wish. And this also includes publication, if, you, if you, that's how far you wish to go. The open operating quality of free open software <laughs> such as GNU Linux, Apache, MySQL, Drupal, WordPress, Firefox, etc. To become extremely efficient and reliable. Therefore, they are used by hundreds of millions of people around the world. And also by many business and government. The free software communities have, <laughs> have developed a private alternative economy. Which is based in sharing knowledge and the provision of services. Instead of being based on property and copyright. Free software, free software is a global of shared knowledge. In Athens, you can you find, find us in many, many computers, computers, but also at these links and sites. <laughs> so, goodbye. We, we hope, hope to meet you soon in your computer. <laughs> <laughs>